Yo, what's going on guys, Pro Tom Ox here. Today I'm bringing you guys part two to an our three part message to Treyarch series where I discuss what I would like to see in the next 2015 Treyarch game. If you haven't already seen part one, there should be a link in the description and I'll be covering a lot of small things today, starting off with the emblem editor. So sit back and enjoy the show. I personally love the emblem editor that was introduced in Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2. Because it's next generation, I think it can be significantly improved and modified. Uh, medals from Black Ops 2, keep them, love them, they're great. Uh, dolphin diving, keep that as well, but also give them the option to do knee slide from ghosts. I think knee slide was a really good idea as well. The lean feature, just take it out, remove it, don't add it, whatever it is, just don't put it in there. It just encourages camping. Theatre, for the love of God, please put theatre back in because in ghosts, I can't do slow motion, can't do third person perspective, I can't do amazing screen, like, you know, flying around the map and, you know, taking photos of the scenery. I can't do any of that, which is what I require for, you know, these creative videos that I put up. And so just put it back in there. Didn't really cost the gameplay much in Black Ops 2, so just please put it back in there. The heads up display, just stick to the same as what it was in Black Ops 2. Maybe make the map a little bit like Ghosts, I didn't really mind that it was a little bit more realistic. Just put the kill feed back where it was, put the scoreboard back where it was. And fall damage. In Black Ops 2, fall damage um, was actually pretty good. Don't make it like Modern Warfare 2 or 3 or Ghosts, where you walk over a brick and you have a near-death experience. Field orders. I actually like the idea of field orders and ghosts. I think they got that pretty well done. Um, just, yeah, you know, have a care package, make the challenges a little bit more rounded. Gun customization is something which I would like to see. Um, so, you know, maybe adding a few leaves on your sniper rifle or, you know, adding different types of barrels or adding different types of grips. Just something which makes your gun a little bit more personal would make it a nice experience. Character customization. So, uh, a bit like ghosts, but a lot better. Like, a lot more details, a lot better challenges for rewarding players you know so each challenge is associated with a part of the wear so for specific perks it makes you look differently or getting knee slides gives you knee pads or you know whatever it is just you know incorporate more 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 if you're not going to be incorporating character customization i'd really like you guys to consider creating a lot more cooler looking guys i know it sounds a little bit silly but Treyarch titles from black ops especially black ops number one the characters haven't really looked that good if you compare them to Modern Warfare 2 or the original Modern Warfare series. That's just my opinion. I'd also like to see a builder camo, so a bit like Emblem Editor where you create a small patch and it gets replicated over your gun. Um, limit the amount of layers and the amount of things that you can do so that way people aren't just putting penises all over your cameras because no one wants to see that. Um, and just give them one or two slots in each own procedure, give them another one. I think that would be pretty cool to see, you know, create your own camo. Just give them a few circles, squares, triangles, rectangles, whatever it is, and a few different color options, and I think you can come up with a whole bunch of stuff. While we're on the topic of camos, I would really like them to bring out a lot more normal type of camos. So, you know, matte blacks or, you know, a lot more deeper, dark, darker, normal camos. Nothing, no, no space cats or anything like that that Ghost is trying to put into it. I would like for them to remove the win loss uh, if you join a game that's more than 30 seconds beyond the starting point because it's pretty unfair if you join a game and there's already a swarm up. I'd also like them to add back from Ghosts the 1, 2, 3 or 4 bar that was taken out for some reason and also even implement a ping type system where you can, it's off by default but if you'd like to see your actual numbers you can turn that on. Quick startup time. Modern Warfare 2 I think is the fastest Call of Duty game to actually start up and to get into multiplayer and also Trout games are quite renowned for being slow and take a long time. World at War, Black Ops and Black Ops 2 all took quite a long time. I think if they implemented a system like Modern Warfare 2 it would be quite nice. I also prefer the Modern Warfare 2 red dot sites over the more rounded ones that you will see in Black Ops 2 and other previous Call of Duty titles. Me personally, I like the um, celebrity voiceovers that was used in World War. If it, if they do decide to use World War 2 as the next title, um, I would like them to bring back Kiefer Sutherland. Standing Marines! Out fucking standing! We kicked ass! Microtransactions. A topic I know you probably don't have much control over, but here goes. Speaking from behalf of all season pass holders, I personally think DLC, all DLC, should be covered when you buy a season pass. That's all maps, including zombies and guns, as well as camos and anything else you have up your sleeve for the next title. Please Treyarch, stand up against the fat cats at Activision. Next up, I want them to make the content within Call of Duty less childish and more realistic. I'm talking about the Mike Myers, the aliens, the predators, uh, the alien guns in multiplayer. This all needs to stay off multiplayer. I'm talking about the kitty camos and the stupid bacon camos. Just make it, make the content more realistic and bring it to how it originally was. One of the awesome things about World at War was the gruesomeness when you threw a grenade or you blast them with a shotgun, their limbs would rip off. I'd love for them to bring that back into the next one. Knifing in Ghosts I found quite uh, good because I'm always on a 3 bar and it's the first game since I think COD 4 or Modern Warfare 2 where I could actually knife someone. 
Also, while we're talking about knives, I really like how they incorporated camos with knives in Black Ops 2. Maybe they can take that another step further and introduce different types of knives, like Bowie knives or kitchen knives or shibs, you know, just the possibility is endless. So when you press Y and you're running around with the knife in your hand, you know, it could look cooler. Now that we're in the next generation, I would really like to see reflective mirrors. You've seen mirrors in previous Call of Duty titles, they're the only ones I can really think of right now in Modern Warfare 2 in Favela, but they don't actually reflect anything. I would like to see my own player reflection. In Ghosts, I actually quite like the dual rendering sniper rifles as you'll see in the background. I think they could probably do something like that with a next gen title in Black Ops 3 or World War 2. Assists. Now in Black Ops 1 you could get 20, 40, 60 or 80 point assists depending on the amount of damage that you do to an enemy. In Black Ops 2 it was 25 or 50 and for Black Ops 3 I'd like them to copy the original idea of you know, varying degrees of assist points so 20, 40, 60 or 80. In Modern Warfare 3 you could see previous Call of Duty titles prestiges by looking at their gamer tag. Now I think that would be great if they brought that back but just for Treyarch titles only so World at War, Black Ops and Black Ops 2. Kill cams. Now in Treyarch titles, the kill cams have always ended right as the last bullet is shot and the person dies. I think if they copy Infinity Ward style where it gives you one or two seconds, it would flow a bit nicer in my opinion. The lobby music in Treyarch titles, uh, I'm not sure about World of War, but Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 specifically were quite loud, aggressive and in your face. I'd really like them to incorporate a type of, you know, peaceful, kind, relaxing sort of music which, you know, goes for when you're waiting for someone because it gets quite irritating and, and aggravating when you're trying to wait for a game or a lobby and you've got this really loud music which never le leads you to turn the volume of the music down. One final thing I want to talk about today is colour typing players on the map. So when you're playing competitive or any other type of game mode, you've often got like five or four or three teammates and they're all blue or they're all green so they're all one type of color and it can get quite confusing when you're trying to help someone out if you know that there's an enemy somewhere so by giving someone red you could say red person look behind you there's an enemy and i think that would be quite useful when it comes to competitive gaming so that pretty much wraps part two up guys i really hope you enjoyed watching this and please send me any messages or comments in the section below that if you agree or disagree with anything i'll be more than happy to chat back with you and I really do hope someone from Treyarch is watching this because I think some of these ideas, if they're implemented correctly in the next Treyarch title, it can make a hell of a game. Thanks again, guys. Peace out.